I recently bought this very low-end Lenovo PC used for 30 euros. As you can see this PC doesn't have a dedicated power supply. It is using a laptop charger type power brick which plugs directly into the motherboard. In this video I'll be converting this PC to a gaming PC and I'll need to get rid of the original motherboard because it has an AMD E1 CPU which is a horrible CPU and cannot be used for pretty much any modern gaming. I'll be using this motherboard later however I'll be installing it in some smaller case when I come across a suitable one. I'll also need to do the same for one HP PC but this Lenovo is easier to convert to a proper ATX gaming PC because this has a detachable metallic plate in the place of the power supply which can be easily detached and a standard power supply can be installed on its place. The motherboard I installed is from another Lenovo PC. It's from Lenovo M 92P small form factor PC. It has an i5 third gen Intel CPU. I recently got a bunch of these boards with i5 CPUs for pretty cheap. As a graphics card I'm using a Zotac GTX 1050 Ti and this PC will have 8 gigs of RAM in 2 4 gig sticks. The PC already had a 250 GB Western Digital HDD and it needed just an SSD as a boot drive. I used a Western Digital green 120 gig SSD as a boot drive this time. One difficulty with this particular PC was getting any RGB fans installed. This PC had one mess at the side panel but I couldn't use it to install a fan because it's blocked from the other side by the HDD mounts. So I decided that I'll mount the SSD there to at least show that through the mess instead of the ugly bare metal HDD gates. Pretty much the only place to mount a proper fan in this case is the exhaust fan and I used a 90mm RGB fan. The RGB lights from the fan aren't really visible that well but the only another place a fan can be mounted would be the front and there are only some holes for maybe 50 or 70 millimeter fans. This case being a Lenovo case has non-standard audio and front panel headers and therefore it's good to use a Lenovo motherboard if possible. But 
I think there are adapters for normal audio and other headers. Anyway, with the PC built, I started it up and run some benchmarks and tested some games. 2016 title Hitman run very well and I did not even need to lower the graphics very much. Kingdom Come Deliverance which has proven to be a quite tough game to run for lower end PCs on this PC it run pretty well and I'd call it well playable Fortnite, as expected, was not a challenge at all for this PC, and with low settings, it managed to keep Fortnite running above 100 FPS all the time. 